I have prepared for you a very short beard general knowledge quiz. Okay. So I'd, li- I'd like to put this to you and see how many of the answers you know. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. First question. True or false, a war was started between England and France due to refusal to shave off mm. the beard. Mm. Wow. Well. I'm going to well, say that that is I'm going to say that that is true. Purely because, you know, if Simon told me to shave off my beard, I would probably start a war with them. <laughs> it is absolutely true. You're correct. The King of France <laughs> grew a beard in, in the Crusades and the Queen divorced him and married the King of England due to the fact wow. that he shaved off his beard. Wow. That's, you know, that's smart right there. <laughs> Question two. Which member of ZZ Top is the only member to not have a beard? Well, this is easy. It's Frank Beard, the drummer. Correct. Mm-hmm. Absolutely mm-hmm. right. <laughs> Question what is, three. What an insult, too. I mean, his last name is Beard, and he hasn't got a beard. It is very ironic. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good enough. He looks out of place, I have to say. <laughs> Well, I mean, in his defence, he has got a lot of competition. The other two members, you know, they've got some real beards there. But, uh, you know, we, we don't really like ZZ Top purely for that reason. In fact, I like listening to ZZ Top, but I just don't like listening to the drums. And I'm a drummer, but I don't like the drums in ZZ Top. It's not beardy enough, you know, it's too straight. When I saw ZZ Top live, even their guitars had beards because they were all white and <laughs> fluffy and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they they know how to have beards. Yeah, their guitars have beards. They just they love beards. <laughs> Question three: What kind of facial hair or beard was named after rock star Lemmy? Hmm. Well, Lemmy he normally sports, if I'm not mistaken, quite the moustache and mutton chops. That but, is um, correct. That's correct? It is. They actually have another name. Do you know the other name? Oh, no. Is it a Lemmy? I'm not, uh, I'm not sure. It's called the Lemmy, and it's also known as Stash Burns, which are very large mutton chops. Yep, yep, okay, okay. Well, you know, um, I'm, I'm going okay. One wrong, two out of, two out of three ain't bad so far. <laughs> You got the mutton chops part right, so that's yeah. fine with me. <laughs> Question four. Name a horned animal that mostly possesses a beard. Um, okay. There is a, there's certain uh, mountain goats. Yes! That have beard. <laughs> I don't know the exact breed, but um, they're definitely the best kind of goats, in my opinion. Great. Yeah, we were going for goat. Goat is an answer is correct. <laughs> right. So that's four out of four so far. Very good. <laughs> okay, number five. Which well-known Scottish comedian famously dyes his beard purple? Oh, that would be Billy Connolly? Yeah. <laughs> correct. Five out of five. Woohoo. <laughs> oh, I know beard well. <laughs> Question six. I think you'll know the answer to this one. How many mums would you have if your dad didn't have a beard? Oh, I think I know this one. Uh, is it two beardless mums? Yes, that's mums? correct. <laughs> uh, great at beard quizzes. <laughs> six out of six. And the, uh, this is the this is the final question. Question number seven. What length was history's longest ever beard? Worn by Hans Nilsson Langseth in the 1920s. Do you know how long it was? You know, I, I used to know how long this was um, because I've seen in pictures of him. There's a classic picture of him sitting down on a seat and it's, his beard goes all the way down to his feet. Yes. The, the exact length, though, oh, he might have stumped me on this one. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say... One and a half metres, at a guess. Uh, oh, I only have it in feet and inches. <laughs> oh, that, um, <laughs> is that like five and a half feet? 
The answer is actually 17 feet and 6 inches. 17 feet! Wow. Which is incredible. I mean, that, guy, that guy knew what having a beard was all about. That was in the 1920s, and currently the guy who's alive at the moment with the longest beard, his beard is only about 8 foot long. I say only, like like it's really normal, but, you know. Mm. Well, you've done some good research. I have. I've been doing my homework on beards, so now I oh, know wow. quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, that's great. So six out of seven ain't bad. That was that was very very good uh, beard quiz knowledge. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You know, we do love beards, and I do spend the days where I'm not uh, performing uh, just on the internet looking at beard related facts and latest beard news. Um, I knew one day it would come in handy, and today's the day. Today is in fact the day. And before you go, because we're going to have to leave you now, um, could we get you to lean into the camera, give us your best metal horns, and give me a nice, enthusiastic London rocks? London rocks! And yeah. so do beards. Beards. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's fantastic. We'll put that one in the vaults. Well, it's been fantastic to speak to you and your beard. Thank you so much. And your beard is just brilliant too. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should leave um, that on for the rest of the day. I will. I, sh I shall carry it around with me to win arguments with. Great job. Okay, awesome to speak to you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> Walking his way